what is up ghouls it's blaze and welcome back to my channel today i have for you a first impressions slash review video and this is a little bit different because i'm not usually a hair person um so on my course that i do at uni for the last two years we've had like a little hair and makeup module and i always fucking hate the hair parts i'm just awful with hair i've never been able to do it i can't do my own hair i can't do other people's hair i can just about do like a normal plait no french braid nothing crazy i could barely curl my own hair straightening it is a fucking chore i hate hair but i have a new favorite thing in my life so it is the revlon pro collection salon one step hair dryer and styler this is the box it's a pretty big box i don't know why it's so big um so i got this for christmas from jake my boyfriend um because we i always watch youtube i just i'm always watching youtube and i came across um niecy's video if you don't know who niecy is i'll link her below she's also from the uk and she's a fucking babe i love her she's linked down below um and she had it was in the same line as a revlon pro doodad but instead of it being like a big paddle brush it was like a curly one instead um and yeah so it's just supposed to be really good for um straightening your hair but giving volume but this one is just for um straightening and drying um so this is what it looks like it's um a pretty big brush uh, compared to, please excuse all the hair, compared to like a normal hairbrush, it's really really big. I guess for a paddle brush it's maybe not that big. Um, and so it has like, it comes down to this big base and you twist at the bottom for whatever setting you want. So you can have it on a cold setting, one or two, um, but I need it on two because my hair is so thick. Um, and then it plugs into like a normal plug at the bottom. Um, I think this retails for about £35, um, I honestly would have no idea if that's good for a hair product or not. Like I said, I'm so useless with hair, I never blow dry my hair, never straighten it, I always just leave it um, to dry naturally because I just can't be asked. Um, if I ever blow dry my hair, I start and I get about five minutes in and I give up and I get Jake to do the rest for me because I really can't stand it, but I successfully blow dried all of my hair today with this with no assistance i'm so fucking proud so this is like a miracle piece in my life it's up to my hair game i look like i put effort in now i'm pretty happy i'm losing my voice because i've recorded so much today i just can't talk any longer um so if you want to see um me using this i did film a first impressions clip which i will show you guys now Okay, so I apologise if this is really hard to see. I probably should have worn a top that was not black and it's a turtleneck too, which just makes life harder. But we are here, we are ready to use this for the first time. So my hair is probably more dry than it needs to be. It's pretty much just damp, not wet. Um, it says you have to towel dry it and the more damp it is, or the less, the less wet it is, the quicker it is going to be to um, blow dry. So um, yeah, you probably don't need to leave it to get this dry, but yeah. So I've already brushed through it. I'm going to throw up like a big section of my hair. So I'm just dealing with a little bit, um, just to make it easier. Not a particularly neat person when it comes to sectioning my hair. Um, and now I'm left with this really beautiful look. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to pop on some setting spray. This is not a cruelty-free brand. I don't know of any cruelty-free setting sprays. So if you are aware of any, please let me know so I can get in on that cruelty-free action. Just brushing that through. Okay, I also have cute my hairbrush. Please ignore all the hair everywhere, but cute. Okay, so... This is fucking massive. I'm a little bit terrified, <laughs> like compared to my normal brush. Um, it's a big brush and the base is huge. Um, so the control switch is on the bottom. Um, you've got like a cold one. That's so fucking loud. Um, and then it goes like cold one and two. I'm gonna have to use two because my hair is so thick. So 
yeah. Okay, so this first section I've taken is just for reference so you can see um, how kind of thick the section was that I took and it's, it's so hard to show you um, so it's kind of long um, and it took you know maybe 30 seconds maybe a minute to dry this whole piece and it's pretty fucking straight um, yeah this is it's not as quick as it makes out online it's not like whoa I'm done but it's definitely quicker and a hundred percent easier than having a blow dryer and a brush so I'm gonna finish the rest of this section section of my hair is dry it probably took um, three minutes maybe to dry that whole part so that's pretty good I mean it's not the biggest section of hair that's literally it um, but yeah so for three minutes that's pretty good the actual product is getting pretty warm on the back here so if there's like your kids and pets hanging about then probably be careful with that um, it's pretty noisy, Pumpkin is nowhere to be seen, so I guess she's pretty scared of the sound. Um, but it's not too bad, I'd say it's probably on par with a normal hairdryer. So I'm going to go ahead and take the next section down. The only problem I have so far with the, um, what is it called, like a dryer, a styler, I don't know what it's called. Um, is that where I sectioned it it's kind of hard because the brush is so big it's hard to get into the top part where um, the section that's up is here the section that's down there to try and get that right to the top part is kind of difficult because it's so big um, it would probably help if I had clean sections and lines and stuff but <sighs> that is time consuming Okay, so when I'm going through and doing, um, if ever, <laughs> blow drying or straightening or whatever with my hair, I usually work in three sections or three tiers. Um, so I'm on two, section two. Uh, oh, protecting because my hair is damaged enough. Okay, so I've finished the top sec the top section, the mid section of my hair. My hair feels oh, that's a little bit wet there. We have to go over there. I've not finished. Um, my hair just feels really soft, really sleek. It's definitely very straight. Um, this is way straighter than I could personally get with a hair dryer. I'm so crap with hair, so this just makes my life like a hundred times easier. Okay, so the top layer of my hair is down and ready to be done. My green is starting to come through. This is absolutely awful. Um, <laughs> yes, so this is probably the biggest section of my hair. This is gonna be the bit that takes the longest to dry and I've got the fiddly pieces like my fringe that I'm growing out there. So um, this is gonna be like the real test uh, for this product. So I'm going to time how long it takes to do this whole section um, just so you guys can see um, how quick if at all or how much quicker if at all it is to a normal hair dryer method so let's go
Okay, so I have paused the timer on 3 minutes 45 and I'm just going to double check that it's all dry. Okay, I definitely can't find any like wet patches or anything so I'm fairly confident that my hair is completely dry. So as you can see by that timer, the top section, the thickest, most difficult section of my hair only took 3 minutes 45 seconds, not only to dry but to straighten as well. I mean these bits here where my hair is so damaged is a little bit puffy, like maybe um, for like an everyday I would just leave it as is, um, for like a formal event I'd probably go through and give that a little straighten. Same with this side here where there's more hair on this side because there's more of a part. Um, it's again a little bit poofy, I don't know what this is, so I'd maybe go through that one more time. Um, but as it is for a normal casual look, that's pretty fucking good. Yeah, as you can see, it just it's just so good. Like, you know when you see a product that's like too good to be true? Like this is it. Um I the only downside is that there's like my hair caught in the thing, but my hair falls out all the time anyway, so I don't really care about that. Um I would say definitely use it with um, heat protectant spray if you're going to be using it um, on like a daily basis or a regular basis but I feel like it doesn't go as hot as a normal hair dryer would um, normally one of the things I really hate is when you're blow drying your hair and it like gets really really hot on your ears but I didn't seem to get that with this um, my only complaint is that I don't like that it's so big so that when I'm trying to get to like sectioned bits of my hair I can't get right in because it's so big um, and it's quite it's quite loud um, especially when you get into these bits and it's like right on your ear um, I feel like because you can get so much closer with this than a normal hair dryer it's that much louder and I am such a I don't know I don't know what the word is I just really really can't stand loud noises they just heighten my anxiety and I get really panicky so that's the only downside to that is um, it's relatively loud but other than that I feel like this would be so good for traveling because it's you know smaller than a normal hairdryer you can just chuck it in your luggage um, yeah this is just so good like I'm so happy I have this and Jake is gonna be so thrilled that he never has to blow dry my hair ever again um, I'd say the other really good thing about this is that normally if I'm going to curl my hair I'll have to blow dry it but I don't blow dry it properly because I just tip my head over and just zhuzh then I'd have to straighten it so that it's in like a decent condition to then curl the bottom so my hair's going through three processes um, whereas with this I'd just blow dry it into this nice straight style and then I can just curl the bottoms and I'm good to go um, it looks kind of like big and bushy up here but that's because this piece is pinned back um, I did mention in the first impressions clip that um, if I was going somewhere formal I would probably straighten through these little bits here that are just a little bit crinkly or a bit fluffy um, but for every day I feel like this is so good. So I hope this video has been helpful to you and um, if you are in the market for something like this to make your life easier um, when you're doing your hair and to just cut the time like at least half the time maybe even like three quarters of the time um, then this is a really good product um, I am not sponsored in any way to do this video I know that Nisi's one she was like sent it um, I obviously I said I got this for Christmas um, this is spent with well Jake's money not my money um, but I definitely would have bought one um, so yeah again just the big ass box I can't recommend this product enough so let me know down below what you thought of this video do you guys have anything like this or would you try it um, also if you have any recommendations for cruelty free um, heat protectant sprays like I said please let me know down below because I'm definitely in the market for one so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye